Hey guys, Toby's here. As a full stack developer, many of my friends always ask me how to set up a website for their own. However, they don't always want to pay or they are picky about what suppliers they want to use and you know, a lot of stuff. So in this scenario, I usually recommend self-hosting a web server. But the problem is that um, not everyone can afford a Raspberry Pi these days and they probably don't have an old PC lying around. That's why I developed this. This is an instant web stick. As the name suggests, it is an instant web server hoist on an ESP8266. Um, on the back, you will see pretty much nothing, just some instructions. And on the front, you will find a few components here. Um, this one is an AMS1117, which is a regulator to power the rest of the circuit. This is an CH340C, a version of the USB to UART adapter famously known as the CH340 family. You, you can usually find these on Arduino clones, um, Wemos series of ESP8266 development board, and many of the development board that require USB to UART conversions. I used the C variant here to reduce the amount of components required for this PCB, so I can save a crystal and some space. And on the right hand side, you will see an ESP8266. This is an ESP12F variant, which provide a better PCB antenna layout for better speed and stability. In the middle here, you will find a micro SD card slot. Currently, I have a 512 megabyte micro SD card insert right here to act as the web server directories and the configuration file storage. Lastly, over here, there are two LED indicating the TX and RX pins. So you can see that it is kind of communicating with the computers while it is writing file to it or flashing a new firmware. I designed this with the JLC2 chain, including the ECDA and the JLC PCB manufacturing service. They are also the sponsor of this video, so I can make a few of these prototypes for a really decent price. I used their ECDA editor to design the PCB for the web stack and then create a few prototypes using their PCB A services. As you might notice right here, this is a BC A17, a tiny little transistor that is even smaller than my fingernail. In order to store the component with this size, you either need a reflow oven, which I don't have, or a PCBA services. So that's why I go with the JLC PCB PCBA services. The good thing about this is that everything you grab from the JLC library or ECDA are usually stocked on the PCBA services. So you don't really worry about sourcing and stuff like this. So let's get back to the instant web stick. To use the instant web stick, you will see there's a USB A port right here. This is a programming port as well as a power port. So if you insert it into your computer, then you can program it via the Arduino IDE, or if you insert it to some kind of power adapters or a power bank, you got yourself um, a tiny little web server that can run for a long period of time with little to no power usage. This is a demo web interface for the web stick. It is loaded in from Wi-Fi connected to the web stick uh, in real time. So um, it can host public pages like this, like website with images. It also have directory listing functions. So you can see what files are currently in these directories. And here is the admin panel where um, it provides a cookie based login system for you so that you can log in to your web stack to access some private resources. For example, you can directly edit code right here, uh, watch videos, play or stream music, etc. This is a file manager of the web stick. Um, in here, you can do pretty much most of the thing you can do like a NAS. You can copy file, paste file, refresh, upload new file, download files, etc. Um, the main panel also provides a few handful features, including search, like you can search for um, MP3, for example. From the SD card and from the info page you will see how many space you used on the SD card as well as some of the Wi-Fi informations. Let's get back to the file manager. To access any kind of files on the file manager, double click them and then you will be navigated into another directories. 
you can open, for example, music files and then do some kind of playback. You can also view photos. It supports most of the web supported format like PNG, JPEG, GIF, etc. You can also edit text file. For example, you like using online note jotting tools, then you can use the web stack as your private note jotting tool. Of course, you can also play video, but um, generally speaking, video are really slow to load on ESP8266. The maximum video you can play is around 5 megabytes WebM, and pretty much no other format can be played smoothly. And the most important thing about the file manager is that you can directly edit and upload HTML file from or to your PC to your web stack SD card and you can directly edit them on here too. For example, I can double click an HTML file and then it will load the page and you can directly edit the HTML files right here. You can adjust the font size, change the theme of the editor and do a lot of things just like a native notepad plus plus editor and you can also edit multiple page at the same time by selecting multiple page of them and then swap between them lastly i want to mention the store directories if you directly access the store directories a forbidden tag will be shown because this is designed for storing private files so everything you don't want to release to the public and only accessible via the file manager can be put under the store folders right here. So that is all for today for the web stick. If you are interested to build one yourself, most of the source code are released on my git server, so you can get them with the link attached below and try to manufacture a few of them just for fun. And if you have too busy to build your own, you can also grab one from my Tindy store. So um, that is all for today. Thanks for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.